Hey guys, welcome back to the Ringer 57 YouTube channel. I haven't posted in a hot minute because there's been a lot of changes gone down. So, as y'all know, about seven, eight months ago, I changed careers. Well, same career, different employer. Uh, I recently, about two weeks ago, changed again. So, I'm currently working much, much closer to home. A uh, lot less hours, well, eight less hours a week for a little more money per hour. And it's working out well. I'm getting opportunities to go to the shop during the week when I need to. I'm going to the shop every weekend and we are freaking busy. I uh, don't know if I've discussed it before. I'm probably going to sneeze. But we are moving our shop from Leeton, Alabama to Tuscumbia, Alabama which is not that far, it's like a 15, 20 minute drive, but it's closer to Chad because he's at the shop every single day and it's a much, much nicer commercial location. It's a legitimate shop. We're gonna be able to set up real nice in there and just rock out and do what we do. Uh, we got our air compressor picked up. We got an awesome deal on that. It came with a locked up motor. We got the locked up, uh, locked up motor, locked up compressor, the pump itself got that freed up and it still didn't want to work right someone had burned up the starter capacitor replaced that too away we went it works great so we have air we have dyno we have the hose reels we have a blower for the dyno now just need to wire up a 220 outlet for that when we get into the new shop we got the banner for the shop that y'all see when we get in there and business is good I have currently got, it sounds like it is currently January. In mid-February, I have a Hayabusa and a GSXR 1000 coming from Chicago. And if you don't know that from here, it's up by Chicago. They're seven and a half hours away. So seven and a half hours, one way to come see us. That's how our business is doing. Uh, I got a freaking G-ball on the dyno right now that I'm trying to work out. It's got some issues. But we did make good gains on it. I mean, it's a zombie bike put together from four different bikes so far, and we've done all the work. Got it running good. Uh, first bull made like 142 horsepower. We're now at 150, and there's more on the table to be had. Uh, what else we got going on? I still got that 1,000 that I've been needing to build. I'm waiting on a crankshaft. Marine crankshaft is a little backlogged right now, so we're just waiting on them to get us a crankshaft back. We can go ahead and put that thing together. Uh, once it's together, we'll be ready to rock real good on that thing. Uh, Wesley's bike is done. I don't know if I've updated you on that. And what else do we got going on? We might have a CBO coming in for service. I got another Busa in the shop right now getting a moderate street build. So Wesley's bike, the white Hayabusa, was a mild street build. Just intake cams, tune, dust and pistons, and valve springs. Uh, this one's going to be a moderate, so it's the next step up from there. We're hoping to get 180 horsepower out of a stock, out of a, <laughs> I say stock, out of a Gen 1 uh, with a real low budget, low budget when it comes to building a motor. Uh, we're still focusing just on top end work at that point. Uh, what else we got going on? Chad's bikes at my shop right now. We're gonna go ahead and drop that motor out, redegree the cams, drill it for nitrous nozzles, install the nitrous nozzles and get that put back up in. My oil filter adapter is on the way from Brock's Performance. Uh, there's a link in the description you can use if you wanna order any parts from Brock's. We'll get you 5% off, use that link and use coupon code TEAMRIGHTEOUS5, that'll be in the description. Uh, for 5% off of your order and it helps us promote our business a little bit and helps us build a better companionship with Brock's because they're a very good business. They make very good exhaust, very good everything under the sun. Their clutch mods are in both of our bikes. We're both running Brock's winders. I was running a Brock's alien head. I loved it. I made amazing power with it. Probably upwards of 300 horsepower. Great shit. Uh, what else do I got going on? I think that's about all I got going on right now. My bike needs the oil filter adapter, the winder permanently installed, the Wago wired back up, cleaned up, a relay put in for map switch for nitrous, and we should be ready to rock on that. 
and then I'm going to start street riding it. Uh, February, early in February, there's a street event. I need to pull my tire hugger off. My bike's set up short, short right now, which is great for what we're going to do. I'm going to go do some no prepping. Uh, it's not roll racing. We're still going to be racing from a dig. However, it's on the street. So there's no prep to work with. It's going to be an interesting situation. I'm going to throw a nice mild tune up in it. Probably somewhere in the 230 horsepower range, maybe 240, might turn it up a hair. And uh, we'll see what we can do with it. Uh, it's currently set at 74 inches, or is it 72? I think it's 72 or 74 inches. It's not stupid long. Uh, so it should hook and book, but the tire hugger rubs, so I need to take the tire hugger off. I uh, gotta fix a four wheeler. I got a lot of shit going on. I gotta clean my shop. The buggy, there were situations that came forward with the buggy that led to a delay. We have spoken like adults about the situation and it has been corrected, so we will proceed forward with the buggy. I have everything to put the motor on the chassis and wire it. I just gotta do it and get it running and moving on its own. Uh, then we can move on to anything else that needs brakes, anything really. Uh, yeah, that's where we're at. That's what we got going on, guys. It's really not been a whole lot going on here lately, other than a lot. <laughs> a lot of business, guys. A lot of business. It's been my biggest focus. Rolling bikes through, getting on the dyno, getting them off the dyno, and making people happy. Uh, every time we start working on something, something comes up, we got to work on, work through. That's the nature of the beast. Uh, this 1000. It was a zombie bike put together for multiple bikes. It has a cracked starter drive cover. So I gotta replace that. Well, Chad's gonna replace that. And the secondary throttle valves were deleted from it. And I think it has a TPS issue because it's got a stumble at low throttle. So I think there's a dead spot or the TPS is maladjusted. In any case, that'll all be fixed when we switch out the throttle bodies because he already has another set of throttle bodies sitting there in a box. So we can have our secondaries back and get that right and get the tune just where I want it. I really prefer to have secondaries in. It makes tuning easier. I can open the damn things and make them act like they're not there, but it'll still give me my low end drivability. Uh, that thing had a plug fuel pump. It was just a lot of shit. Check out the Team Rights YouTube channel. There'll be a video dropping probably tomorrow, if not the next day, on our fuel pump mod. This guy just stopped at an intersection like he needed to stop, but it's not a stop sign. I don't know what his problem is, but okay. He just parked here. Parked here like an idiot. In any case, I'm about home. I'm going to go ahead and get a shower after a hard day's work, and... I'm going to get to bed. Tomorrow I'm going to clean house and have a nice lazy day before I go back to work for the week. Real simple work, guys. All I do is build fences and gates and uh, handrails for staircases and you know, gravy work. But uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. Check out the Team Righteous YouTube channel for more frequent uploads. That is where you'll see me more and more getting involved with Chad's videos and the shop's videos. Thanks, guys.